Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, over the van right now. Literally our first night camping in the wild wild. Like it's that dark right now that you can't see even the van. And mother nature has given us her finest. <laughs> and we're not even in the Northern Northern territories yet. Wow. There was a huge one over this way, but that seems to have passed. They're right above the van right now. They're very faint, but they look so cool. I can't believe that, that's crazy. Look at them just above the treetops. Wow. <laughs> I literally feel like the biggest giddy kid right now. Everyone else is missing them. Everyone else is fast asleep. It's, I literally just came outside for a break from editing. It's 2 a.m. And the sky just looked weird. It just looked like it was dancing. And then boom. A massive good morning from the best campsite that we have ever, ever had, ever, period. <laughs> we are literally in the middle of a forest. I think we've seen a total of four cars in the last 18 hours that we've been here go past. One of them just now, so literally no cars whatsoever. I made a joke last night, literally a joke. It was the clearest sky ever and we all came outside after we'd had dinner and watched the stars, all of us. And it was the most insane stars we've ever seen. Um, it was mad. And I made a joke inside the van afterwards saying that, imagine if I weren't outside to go around to the front like I do every night, because I come outside, I make sure everything's all good, I get in the front and I edit in the front and then I crawl through over into the back when it's bedtime for me. And I made a joke saying, imagine if the Northern Lights were outside when I opened the door. And guess what happened? I am proud to report that I am the first person in this family to ever see the Northern Lights because they were here last night. I came outside and the whole sky here was just was just covered in what I can only describe as a white cloud. It wasn't a cloud, it was, it was like white worms in the sky, like white horizontal tornadoes in the sky moving fast over the van, everywhere. The whole sky was full of them. And I looked at them because they weren't the traditional colour. But I don't know if anyone knows this about the Northern Lights. Is that the Northern Lights have to be specifically energised for our eyes to see the colour. So normally our eyes will most often see the Northern Lights in a white, light greyish colour. And when I looked at the sky last night, I knew instantly they were not cloud. I knew they didn't look anything like clouds, so they weren't going to be clouds. It was the Northern Lights. And the only way you can see them if they're low energised, scientifically I'm probably getting this wrong, but if they're low energised, the only way you can see them is by looking at them through a camera. So camera lenses pick up their colour, their proper colour, that our eyes can't see. So I put the camera on them and lo and behold, you can see the video right now, there was a Northern Lights passing right over the van for uh, probably about the best part of an hour. It was insane, absolutely insane. Although by what, which point, the point that I saw it, it was late, everyone was already asleep in here and I'd gone through to the front to work. Anyway, I saw the Northern Lights, I'm super buzzing about that, I can't believe I actually saw them. I'm really hoping. <laughs> Hello! 
Hello, darling. It's from a very condensated window right now. <laughs> so I'm really hoping as we get further and further north, we're going to get to see them again. A bit high energized ones that our eyes can see their true colors with. So we can see the northern lights in all their colored glory, but they have to be like super high energized ones, if that makes any sense. I'm going to get the actual science until I could buy that later, for definite. Um, but I also had some low energy ones last night because I could not see the colour with my naked eye. I could only see it through the camera lens, which is what you guys saw right now. But it was still amazing. It looked insane. I took a couple of pictures as well, which I'll throw up now. <sighs> so that was a win. Our first night back in Sweden and I got to see the Northern Lights. So I was very jealous. So is everyone else. So anyway, time to crack on. I don't know what today actually has in store for us right now. We're, we're at the minute, Umin and I are in about a few different options. So we're going to head down the road to a place where they kind of all happen and see what happens. Oh my goodness, this massive moves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's gone. We so almost run it over here. It nearly killed us. Oh my <laughs> gosh, did it run up that bit there? Is that massive footprints there? Yeah, yeah, that's the moose, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was... Oh, I feel so sorry for it. His heart was obviously racing then. That was huge, oh my gosh! Everybody just jumped out. We were just like, let me see, let me see. Honestly, I feel like... I can't believe we just saw that. I said on this trip, if there's one thing I'd love to see on this trip, it would be a moose. I can't believe that just... It just tried to kill us. <laughs> I can't believe it's massive. It was like a horse. I thought it was a horse. Oh my gosh! I can't believe that just happened. I literally can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. It's it was coming up then. I was like, I move, I move, I move. And then it was struggling to get over. It was. I didn't even catch it on camera. I, I, I grabbed my phone as quick as I could, but I don't know if I got it properly. But oh my gosh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Wow. You ain't you ain't never stopping. Like we were trying to stop. We were breaking. The girls turned around going, where, where, where? Oh that was a close call. Yeah, it was a close call. Oh that was so cool. Nice one, Mr. Moose. We've just stopped. We've literally been on this road an hour and I had no cars passing. Oh my gosh, I've got mascara all over my face. Look, I just turned the camera off as I was turning it around, but look at the water down there. Look at the big cracks from where, like, oh, I've got the lens on, from where the water and the sides are. <gasps> it looks so crazy. <laughs> it looks crazy, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, just white as far as the eye can see. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, but it's minus 10 out here and I don't have a coat on and I'm blue freezing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a guy on a jet ski. Not a jet ski, a snowmobile. Busting it across the lake. What the heck? It's so cool. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, it's like his dog. Oh no, get away, look how cute. Oh my gosh, his dogs are chasing him. That's the most adorable thing I ever did see. Not really too sure why he feels the need to like keep going after the shots ended. Like, hello, hello. Don't forget me! <laughs> Well, that'll be fun. Boom, just getting kitted out for skis right now. Oh, 
You excited, Esme? Yeah. I'm excited, a little bit nervous. It's been 2018 since we last skied. So it's been a while. So I'm probably gonna fall. But, I'm hey? I'm yeah, it's been a while, Alice. Feeling good though, ready to go. Mila. <laughs> Tiki Ted. Papa. She's shouting Dada, it's so cute. All right, so with these, you've got to hold your arm at 90 degrees. And then, does that feel comfortable and good? Yeah, yeah, that looks good for you, I reckon that's good. Is. All right, so we all kind of looked the part. <laughs> But whether, whether we can perform the part or not is another thing. Uh, my roll bin's not going to translate into this, I don't think at all, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't... There's literally four, four five-year-olds on these slopes. Yeah, they're all, they're, they're all been doing it since they were born, that's why. <laughs> so, uh, get ready to have some, uh, some hilarious falls, definitely. I'm not going to have a daddy party this time. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a daddy party this time. <laughs> if it, last time we were here, I went on one of the, the like the travelator things in the floor to take you up the slope, and I literally went boom straight up onto my head. <laughs> I was not expecting it to whip you up so fast, and uh, I had a bit of a daddy party, and I was like, oh, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to skate. It's just not my thing. <laughs> but they don't have them here. They have like lifts that you sit on. So hopefully this time that ain't gonna happen. Anyway, we're gonna kick it on the baby slope to get used to them and look like fools because no one else is on there. All these little five-year-olds busting up the big mountain. <laughs> But it's all good. Woo! <laughs> this is really tight. Well done, Al. Well done. That's it. Just turn. Well done. Our family is definitely the only family on the kiddie section. <laughs> to be fair, I'm pretty sure everyone here lives here, so they'll probably ski every single weekend. Are you in? Yeah. Oh, let me just move Mila. Oh. <laughs> if you want. Go on, Esme! Big ones. Well done, Ez. I'd be lying right now if I said I wasn't scared. Because <laughs> I am a little bit. After you, whenever you're ready. And then bring the sledge and get them both on it. Uh, go! Woo! <laughs> Chase is absolutely buzzing. He's learnt to sled on his own. It's so much fun. He's learnt to 
sledge all by yourself. You ready? Yeah. Go! <laughs> <laughs> What's Chase doing? <laughs> Come here, I don't want to fall. That's it, Al's well done. Woo! <laughs> well done, Al's. Perfect. I'm so, so proud of Isla. She's so determined. She's literally just going and going and going and going and she's building her confidence so well. I'm well baby. I'm ready. Well done. Perfect. Well done. So good Alice. Yay. Excuse me little woman. <laughs> Come on. Are you obsessed? Jump down, careful. Woo! Good girl. Next one. Woo! So we've come inside to the little cute restaurant to get some dinner. I say we've all come in, everyone except. Um, sorry, the, <laughs> the lens is a bit mucky. It's steamed up from the weather. Everyone except Esme, who will not come in. So the slopes close at four. Yeah. Which one is mine? Um, anyone, you can have any. The ski slopes close at four, this restaurant closes at three. So I've come in and ordered some food. Esme's like, please don't order me anything, I'm not coming in. I'm not missing out on the last hour. She's gone back to those steps. Oh my gosh, I'm a mini guys. <laughs> she's having none of it. Um, so she's gone on the really big slopes now, up the actual ski lift, she's just... Look at there, is, is it? She's come down that massive one. <laughs> she's going on the... Uh, yeah, that's me, Lizzie, I see She's going on like the huge ones, like the biggest ones. <laughs> I don't know how she's doing it. Okay, Sweetie. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah. Got some juices and things. We've got some dinner coming. Um, and Esme, I'll have to make her something in the van because she said, don't order me anything, I'm not coming in. <laughs> but yeah, um, she's having the absolute time of her life. We will definitely do skiing again this trip because I didn't even have a turn today. Uh, I, I wasn't even bothered about having a turn, to be honest. Um, I am going to have a turn of skiing because I do love the look of it. The only thing that freaks me out is stopping. Look. Oh, careful, Jeez. Just knocked the chair over, that absolutely terrified me. Um, there's always one. Yeah, just if I'll be able to stop. I don't know. I'll definitely, we will we'll be going skiing oh. again this trip. <laughs> my first time down. <laughs> and literally, I didn't stop because I couldn't get my feet to turn in and I got to a really icy bit. Yeah. So, but I, I didn't just stop at like the bottom of the hill where everyone else stops. I carried on going down like the. Isabel went back to the van? People. Yeah, I went back to the van until a woman stopped me. <laughs> oh, really? I did not see. No, I didn't oh, see. Grab me. Did she? Most of my life. <laughs> this woman grabbed me, a really nice lady. He was like, You're alright? And I was like, Yeah, I'm great, but he's traumatised. And then I couldn't get up the hill, so she grabbed my um, grabbed my sticks, sticks and just pulled me up this massive hill. But honestly, if she hadn't have saved me, you know, pulled me back up, yeah. oh. I'd have been gone back to the van. She'd have been back in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing! Yay! Well done! I'm so proud of you, Isla. Oh my god, that was so good! She's so determined. She hated it when we first got here because she struggled. But you bossed it all day. She's never stopped. She's constantly going and going and going. And now she's a pro. Well done. Yeah. Last run of the day. Right from the very top of the hill. <laughs> okay, baby. Woo! She's done so good. So proud of her. Yeah, Isla! Well done! Oh my goodness! My feet! 
<laughs> it feels so weird to walk. I know it's ah oh, this place oh, here. Look, it's like rainbow sky. It's We've like seen it over there. oh my gosh, it's so. Um, wait, let me just see if I can get that on camera. Daddy filmed it. Um, oh, did Daddy, Daddy film, film it? it? It's like it's like a rainbow. Look at that. Don't you think it's crazy? That, I don't you think it's crazy as well. That's cool. How it can look like night time, but then if I just adjust the lighting, here we go. It looks like daytime. Look at the vans that down there. Oh my gosh. Anyway, this has been the best fun. It's been the best ever. It's I've been, been so fun. I've absolutely loved watching you guys. Oh my gosh. Is that from going up that rope? Yeah. <laughs> How has it done that to your gloves? It's because when you hold, really like hard. when you get Dad's off, got blisters. Hold it, yeah, but it doesn't. But it doesn't like stop. Oh, obviously, when you no. let go of it, it just it's always oh, continuously yeah. going. Oh, so when I'm yeah, getting off, I have say. to hold it, but I can't hold it too tight, otherwise I'll fly off it. Oh. So. Dad's because he forgot his gloves. Yeah, it, does. it doesn't matter anyway. As long as you had fun, we've got another mega, mega fun day planned for tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so but the sun's it's 4 p.m. now. The sun's just starting to go down. It looks so mega and quiet so and peaceful, we've got some on the sledge <gasps> and peaceful and we're going to you're gonna, this is just i'm so excited for this these this this little um area has these little huts and they've got campfires in the middle of them they're so cute so we're going to go and sit in one of those look at the view the sledge on this little slope here um and just enjoy the evening finish off an absolutely perfect Perfect today. Oh yay, we got the logs on the go. There's a grill. If we'd not eaten, well Esme, Esme is probably like, yeah, I've not. <laughs> we could grill some hot dogs or something. <laughs> Are you sledging? Yeah, I'm going to sledge. Wow, the view up here is just, oh, it's so pretty. Isabel's getting herself some nice selfies. Yeah, oh, be careful. <laughs> just tonk yourself in the face. Are you all right? No, no, I did. I was making myself face Oh, okay. I just snapped myself! I just snapped you now! Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean. Oh no! Too late! Oh! She's gonna hit that jump! Oh my god! Oh, she's gonna hit the jump! Oh my gosh, they're going back to the van. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go with Isla? Isla! Shout Isla! Isla! <laughs> and Jace. Shout Jace! Jace. Jace. Hey, look, who's this? Who's me, that? Me, me. Me, me. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh, I think we might end the vlog here because I just. I'm, I, we're just enjoying this evening and I think we're just going to sit out here till the stars come out. Hopefully we'll see the northern lights. Although there's a big black cloud just coming over yeah, right now. What's that what cloud doing? doing? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this mean, mean black cloud. It's so weird because it feels like bedtime. It's like half past four. It's like half past four. What's on Jinkers? What's we we won't talk about how Chris embarrassed the whole family today when the lovely man on the ski lift who was there to like assist people that were new and needed help, aka us. Um, <laughs> did you even film about when you first got on that lift? No. <laughs> I saddled it like a horse. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to just put your canny. Sorry, I thought Jace was screaming. He's not. He's just screaming in glee, in delight. But um, you're supposed to like rest your bum on the lift that goes up. So it's like. The string comes down here and then there's like two plastic bits each side and two people go on at a time so one person on this side no chris just straddles it like a horse it, it came at me fast and then he's got halfway up <laughs> and i think he realized like what am i doing how am i going to get off this so then he, <laughs> like so then he turns around he turns it round in between his legs and pulls it up and then he's just hugging the whole thing up the hill like a bear <laughs> It wasn't your most gracious moment, okay. definitely not. But then the guy said to him, I think the next time he came around, he's like, hey, do you need a hand? Clearly you need a hand. <laughs> um, 
That's and he said, story. no, the embarrassing story is that he said That's to Chris. The skis back. Oh, sorry. The guy when Chris went to give the skis back. Oh, I thought you meant it was the lift guy. No, he said, where are you going? Oh. He asked where we were heading on to from here, and Chris went, oh, we're heading up towards Swedish Lapland. And the guy goes, you're in Swedish Lapland. He, <laughs> he put his arms out like, you're in Swedish Lapland. Here. This is Swedish Lapland. So we've clearly already entered Swedish Lapland and we didn't even realise. But you can tell. This place has a vibe, doesn't it? Well, I think mean, it was minus 10 degrees last night. I can put this Yeah, it's much warmer today. It's not minus 10 today. That, no, it's up, I don't but, think it's I minus either know, today. When minus it zero. Wait, sorry, sorry. When I think minus it was one. one became. Oh, it's, it's, only, it's only one degree. It's one degree. Get out there with no coat on. Like zero degrees <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. I think it's about zero, but it's not that cold. It doesn't feel very, very cold. Anyway, you can tell we've entered Swedish Lapland because I feel like we're in a, like a, a piece of earth that's is untouched. Untouched, yeah, that's what I was looking at. It just feels like an untouched very piece of land, like very serene, just <laughs> stunningly beautiful. Like we're sat here now on this campfire, and we can see, we've got a mega view out in front of us, like a big frozen lake, and it just just moves and reindeer. Everybody just moves, it? yeah, just moves and reindeer. And red Santa's. Maybe caribou, Santa's, cozy homes lit up. It's just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful and I feel so lucky to be here. I'm having a moment because it's just gorgeous. So yeah, we're gonna end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you come back tomorrow because we've got another epic day planned. I feel like tomorrow will be my favourite day of the holiday. Yeah, it probably will be. I need to stop my expectations though because I don't want to be let down. You I don't think we will tomorrow. though. It's gonna be amazing tomorrow. It's gonna be the best day of the trip, I think. I'm so excited for it. Although today, will be hard to beat because it's been a really fun day yeah, today. It's been, it's been really fun. I really like this place. We'll definitely have to come back here. We, we were just kind of passing, but you can stay here. And it looks like people come for like the, a weekend yeah, it here. Was fully boxed, it's fully boxed. Yeah, it was. It's fully boxed. We couldn't. We've ended up in the car park over there, which is fine. You are allowed to do that. Um, but yeah, it's a really good ski place. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Oh, go, like I'm never home. I get so swell, it's time to let it go. Got me going dumb, like I'm a little.